Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. This has been a pretty prolific weekend as far as videos go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to contain myself and not post this one. What I have here is a first generation Sato FA65. This is the one, the, one of the original ones they put out because it has this special carb. This carb mimics the one that was on the original Sato FA120 in that it's an air bleed carb and it has some metering grooves in the barrel. So this is different than all the later variants of the FA65. Now this engine was provided to me by a fellow as part of payment for some services I did to, for him. And this engine was actually just a complete basket case. Uh, it was completely disassembled. There were parts missing. Uh, so I've actually invested quite a bit of time and effort into getting this engine in a runnable shape. Um, I can't list all the things I had to buy for it. It needed a complete screw set. First of all, it needed valve springs. And the funny thing is, I ordered some springs that were for an FA65 engine, obviously a later version, and they actually wouldn't fit in here. Uh, the diameter was too large to actually fit nicely in there. So I'm in the middle of an FA45S rebuild, and since it's all tore apart, I said, well, what the hell, let me just see what those springs fit in these indentations better and sure enough they fit in there so this is actually running with some FA45S springs um, it's not running yet but it will be it didn't have an exhaust this muffler is one off of another FA65 engine I have that's a mid to late 80s edition it has a traditional twin needle carb but it still had the old style exhaust on it I don't have the rocker arm covers on here just because I just finished putting this thing together and setting the valves and actually this is not the first time I've run it on this video I did just run it a few minutes ago because I actually wasn't even sure if it was going to run at all well it turned out to run pretty darn good so I figured I better go get my camera so enough of me rambling on about this let's get some video shot of this engine running Okay, so you can see this engine runs pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, I've got the carb turned the wrong way. I really need to rotate it 180 degrees so I can get it the low speed and needle valve a little bit better. Uh, but anyway, first run runs fantastic. It's got really strong compression. Pretty impressive old engine. I think this probably dates back to around 83, maybe 83, 84. Uh, things I didn't mention was that this is a Hangar 9 Super 4-stroke plug, Morgan's 5% Omega, and a Master Airscrew, I think this is the 13.6 prop. Yeah, 13.6. So, nice old vintage Sato engine. This is one I'm not going to sell. This is one I'm going to keep just because I had to do so many things to it, and it's really not an engine I want to part with. This is a, a vintage engine that I've wanted for some time and when it falls into your lap you tend to keep those. So thank you for watching and thank you for your subscriptions.